Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, we're back in Photopea, or Photopea, and I'm going to show you how to watermark your thumbnails. A lot of you guys and gals out there that make videos, you take a lot of time to get your thumbnails really, really good, and it's easy, if you know what you're doing, to steal thumbnails and use other people's work. And I'm going to show you how to protect your work, just like this. I've got the Freedom logo here, and I've got it on like a 20% opacity or 15% opacity, so nobody can steal this image, just for example. Let me show you how I did it. All right, here's a new... Inst instance of Photopea. The first step here is I'm going to go to my Finder or Windows Explorer if you're on a PC and drag and drop in the image that you're using. This is an example. It's not a great image, but it's just whatever. It's just an image, right? There we go. But I want to, again, I want to like watermark it. I kind of want to copyright it. So what you do next is you grab your logo. I'm going to grab the Freedom logo and drag and drop it in and it drops it right there. If you do not have a logo, you can also just go ahead and grab the text tool and then just type something in. Um, so if you wanted to do that, that's also fine. But again, we're gonna go with the logo. So I'm gonna delete that text layer. But what I do with the logo works for text as well. The next step, right click on it and we're gonna convert it to smart object. And then right click on it again and we're gonna rasterize it. Now it's rasterized, now we're ready to roll. Now head up here to the top and we're gonna go into the filter. So let's just make sure I'm clicked in here. And then we're gonna go to filter other and then there's one called repeat when you do that you get this crazy mess here and presto we've got our repeat and then technically this would work but i'm going to go ahead and scale it up a little bit because you know i kind of want it to be a little bigger so maybe something like that like three rows and then i don't want these pieces here on the end cut off so i'm just going to scale it something like that there we go that looks pretty good somewhere around there yeah let's go with that okay good and then i'm going to click on okay and now the last thing you got to do is you got to go to the opacity right here and then just drop that down to about, I don't know, let's go with 20%, something like that. And what this does is it basically protects your work. If you've created a thumbnail or something and you don't want people taking your stuff, here's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.